welcome Gemini to your September, well, mid to end of September 2022 reading, energy, predictions, whatever you want to call it, Ooh. messages, usually just channeling messages that come through, but let's see what you can expect for the end of September, and I recommend watching your sun, moon, and rising, but rising is usually the most active. So, Jim and I, I hope you guys are doing good today. We have a lot of crazy energy, a lot of shifts happening astrologically. So we have the Nine of Swords. We've been overthinking. Been going through a very difficult time, but this is all a lot going on in your head. Um, just put the seven here. Yes, we're looking at something very... Uh, we're, we're looking at it very hard. We're wondering what, what's going on with it. Why isn't it happening yet? Um, you're kind of confused about it. And I feel like that's a, one reason why we're seeing the Nine of Swords here. So you guys could have gone through a breakup recently. And you've really been thinking like what went wrong? Why did this happen? You know, something in your life that's really caused you to rethink but I will say that the seven and this nine feels more like you're stuck in this energy you're stuck thinking um oh yes and so when I see the eight of swords too the eight of swords is about you know the mental trap we put ourselves into but it's we've put ourselves into this but we can also get ourselves back out uh, I always look at this like, you know, we've created our own mental prison here. So this could be a lot of anxiety that you're creating. But I feel like over the next couple weeks, you guys are going to be getting some clarity. Um, you're going to start to understand either what happened, um, why this negative situation happened, breakup happened, um, you know, what was going on here. And you're really going to get, and that's, uh, you know, we have justice, which is related to Libra. I feel like you're going to actually feel like you're starting to get a handle on things. You're going to understand why something happened here, and you're going to be able to balance yourself out again. This is still a lot of air energy, so a lot of mental. So we have the Nine of Cups, so I love this, though. So we're seeing, like I said, that you've been going through this very difficult time, overthinking, feeling very stuck. But there's going to be this um, sudden burst of insight. Uh, you're going to get this clarity here because you're going to start to look at things from a full perspective. The Justice card is about fairness. It's not about just seeing something one way. It's about seeing the whole picture. And I feel like when that clarity comes through, it brings balance back to you and you're able to really, um, you know, you're, you're, this is the blessings card. This is the wish come true card, the nine of cups here. There's something about, you know, you've been going through this really dark time, but it's about to get to, um, this place where you understand, like, you know exactly why, and you're going to have this clarity and you're going to feel very good about it. It's bringing through a blessing, it's bringing through something that you've always wished of. And so a lot of times, you know, wherever we put our focus on you guys is what we're going to get. So if you're focusing on past negative relationships, you're going to feel stuck there because those are gone. They're in the past. Uh, it's only your mind that's living there. But the moment that you get clarity and bring balance back into your mind, equilibrium, um, understanding, you're going to get to that point. You're going to get to that blessing, that, that dream or wish come true. So let's see what else is coming through Gemini. So now we've moved into some very positive cards. I feel like you're going to be very happy that you're at the end of this cycle. You're through gaining that clarity. I know that sounds crazy, but having that mental fog, not understanding why something happens, it can drive you crazy. It really can. And I feel like just even having that understanding Gemini is going to be very positive for you. It's going to make a lot of big changes in your life. So we also have the two of pentacles coming through. I feel like you're going to switch gears. You're going to be changing things a lot over the next couple weeks. And you're going to have to make a decision to do this. It's going to be up to you, Gemini. You can either stay in the funk and the fog and the anxiety here looking back on the past and why things didn't happen. Or you can choose to focus on something new and something better here. And this Two of Pentacles is also kind of showing me that there could be a little test coming up. That you may be tested 
um, you know, through another commitment, through um, a message or something that's coming through, like this person, if this was a relationship or a situation, it's going to come back up and present itself as a test to you to see where you're at still. So at that time, you have to make a decision. We are in Mercury retrograde, so this makes sense. This could be a past heartbreak for many of you, past relationship. This person calls and goes, hey, you know, um, I miss you, but you know better now. You know what all this hurt was about, and now you're in a better place, and you're ready to move forward. So just keep that in mind, Gemini. Um, don't fall for whatever was happening here. When I've been doing my shorts and reels, I've been seeing this very manipulative energy trying to come through. I kind of feel like some of this is connected to you guys, Gemini, not you personally, but in your life. Um, you know, this person in your life is kind of gaslighting or manipulating you, and it's really has you, or it's had you confused in the past. So once you get this clarity and realize what this person was doing or what was going on in this situation, you need to just move forward and focus on moving forward. Don't look back. Don't allow this person's presence or messages or energy or the situation to, you know, take you backwards here. And it's like a commitment to yourself, I feel like, Gemini. I don't know why. I feel like you guys need to focus on yourselves right now. Focus on, um, you know, what makes you happy, uh, your goals, the things that you really want to do. Because I feel like there's just been a lot of energy put into something else. So, Gemini, that's what you can expect over the next couple weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching and have a super blessed day.